So lately in boxing, what I've seen happen is a lot of fighters from lower weight classes have been going up in weight and completely dominating fighters that are above them in weight. So to just to give you a few examples, um, obviously we all know uh, Josh Josh Taylor fought Tiafima Lopez. Tiafima Lopez was a smaller fighter going up in weight. So he, he won the lightweight title against her, Lomachenko famously, dethroned the king. Then he went up to light welterweight and he fought uh, Josh Taylor and he completely beat the brakes off him and dominated that fight. And he gave a virtuoso performance, right? Another example is um, Inui. Inui's gone up in weight and fought Stephen Fulton. He he beat the brakes off Stephen Fulton and completely dominated him. Um, and it made it look easy. And even though he was a smaller fighter coming up, he looked like the guy that was bullying um, Fulton in the ring and made him intimidated of his power. Famously, another example is obviously, um, uh, what's it called? Crawford versus Spence. Crawford was a smaller fighter. He comes from a lightweight, super featherweight, that type of weight class, goes up to welterweight and he fights the naturally bigger man in Errol Spence and completely dominates him and beats the brakes off him and um, not just dominates him, actually stops him in the fight and drops him three times. And th th this has happened quite a few times if you think about it. If you look at like, for example, in history, Manny Pacquiao famously went up in weight and fought Oscar De La Hoya and completely dominated him and um, stopped him and made him retire. And not only did he make him retire, he went up in weight and he knocked out great fighters like Miguel Cotto, Antonio Margarito, all these great fighters. He's completely dominated them. Another fighter, it's not the same because they're in the same weight class, but he was still fighting fighters that were bigger than him was Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was a smaller fighter. He went up in weight and he fought the likes of fighters that were way bigger than him that out outweighed him by two, three stones, had a longer reach than him, were taller than him. Yet Mike Tyson was the one that was knocking them out and completely bullying and dominating them. So what's going on here? Why Why is it usually... There's a, there's a famous adage in boxing where they say, um, usually the there's two great fighters and one great fighter is bigger than a smaller great fighter. Then a gr great fighter that's bigger would usually beat the smaller fighter. If everything else is equal and the only thing that's bigger for... The only advantage that an opponent has is size. Um, usually the bigger great fighter beats the smaller great fighter. That's usually how it works. But lately we've been seeing what's been going on in the sport. A lot of small fighters have been going up in weight and completely dominating and destroying fighters that are bigger than them. So in my opinion, what what's going on here? In my opinion, what's happening is um, there's certain advantages that smaller fighters have that that give them an advantage and even so there's another example that i could give you is uh, john jones john jones has gone up in weight he went up from light heavyweight to heavyweight and he he fought gain and he completely dominated him and managed to actually um managed to stop him in the first round so that's another example and that's happening in mma so why is it that it lately a lot of small fighters have been beating up loads of bigger fighters the reason is is, is there's several reasons for this i believe um, one of the reasons is when you're a smaller fighter that's coming up in weight, you're usually dealing with fighters that are bigger, that, that are a lot faster because they're, you're fighting fighters from a smaller weight class. Now, if you look at the likes of Crawford, Inui, they were dominating the smaller weight classes. They were going in there against fighters that were really small. So like you're looking at fighters that were in the bantamweight, smaller weight classes. They were completely dominating them, right? And now finally they go up in weight and they go up against fighters that are bigger, but they're not as fast. And usually when you look at the smaller weight classes, the smaller weight classes generally have more skill than the bigger weight classes. The bigger weight classes rely more on power than skill, while the smaller weight classes rely more on skill than power. Now, I'm not saying there's no, they don't rely on no power in the smaller weight classes. Obviously they do, but generally speaking, if you're looking at a percentage differential, a heavyweight probably relies probably, now I don't know the exact percentages of this, but I would imagine they rely probably, probably 70% on power and 30% on skill. Well, if you look at, like, for example, the lightweight division, they probably rely probably 70% on skills and 30% on power. Now, don't get it twisted. This isn't, like, written in stone. There's there's plenty of skilled heavyweights out there, and there's plenty of lightweights that's, that have pack a lot of power. But generally speaking, the lower the weight class, the more skillful and the more punches are thrown and the faster they are. The higher the weight class, there's less skill, more power, and less punches are thrown, Right. So from that being said, a smaller fighter, they usually have to deal with more skilled fighters. They usually have to deal with fighters that throw more punches. And they usually have to deal with fighters that are faster, 
right? So when they go up in weight, they're going up against opponents that hit harder, but they're not as fast. They're not as skilled. And um, generally, they, they, they don't throw as many punches. So f with that being said, the smaller fighters usually have an advantage over bigger fighters because they're used to dealing with um, fighters that are more skilled, that are faster, and that throw more punches. So when they go up in weight, they've got that advantage over their opponent because they're, they're, they're more used to fighting fighters that, that, have, that have a different skill level. So, so for example, when... John Jones went up in weight against Gain. When he was dominating the light heavyweight division, he fought many great fighters in the light heavyweight division. But then when he went up to heavyweight, there's no one in heavyweight that can actually match the skill level that he had to fight at light heavyweight. So who, who at heavyweight has the wrestling skills of the fighters that John Jones has beaten at light heavyweight? I can't think of anyone. So what's happening is a lot of these fighters, they're going up in weight and they're completely dominating because they're fighting... Even though they're fighting opposition that hit harder and are bigger physically, in terms of skill level, in terms of s speed, in terms of how much shots they throw, they're not they're not dealing with fighters that are on that level, like in terms of speed and skill and all of that other differentials that I've mentioned. So tell me what you think below. Do you think what I've got has got some credence to it, or do you think um, what I'm saying is not true? What is the reason that these smaller fighters are going up in weight and completely dominating against fighters that are bigger than them? Tell me what you think below. I like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Peace.